It's the intro to my cooking show, you stupid fucking clown. Seriously, how many seasons has The Simpsons been on? I think the first one ran when I was in second grade. I'm 32 goddamn years old now. Good lord, how many more seasons does this show have? Anyway, one of the staples of the show has always been the restaurant Krusty Burger. I couldn't find that many Krusty Burger clips, believe it or not. Except one of my favorite ones. Here it is. Stop! <laughs> He's already dead! So, what type of sandwich should we make from Krusty Burger today? Hey, it's your old pal Krusty for my new pork sandwich, the Clogger. If you can find a greasier sandwich, you're in Mexico! <laughs> um. No human being should ever attend that sandwich. So, I'm just gonna go with a straight up crusty burger. Now, before everybody brings it up, yes, I am aware that there is a real life crusty burger based on the fictional one in a theme park in Orlando, Florida. But since it's a fictional restaurant in a fictional place in a park that does nothing but try to bring fantasy as close as it can to reality, I'm still putting it in my fictional burger category. Plus, I don't work in an amusement park. I'm a guy on the internet cooking burgers. And finally, this is something you can do at home. You won't have to travel all the way to fucking Orlando, Florida to have a goddamn Krusty Burger. Okay, let's start these Krusty Burgers off. What you want to do is three pounds of 7327. Yeah, I know, I usually use 8020 for my burgers, but the Krusty Burgers, a little grease here. So a nice 7327. And you want to take three packs of McCormick's Burger Seasoning. You can find this in your spice aisle of the local grocery store. Just put it in the old mixer and let it mix around for a couple of minutes. And then form into patties. That's it. Then after the meat's been formed into patties, you want to place it on a frying pan such as this and a couple of minutes each side. Teacher's pet. Hey, find your nose, funny man. There was cocaine in there. I won't last an hour. <laughs> God, I hate that fucking clown. All right, these greasy ass crusty burgers are just about done. If you're worried about excess grease, just tap the burgers when you lift them out of the pan. Should take care of anything. Last step for these burgers is to place a slice of provolone and a slice of pepper jack on top. Cover it for about a minute to let all that wonderful cheese melt, and we'll be ready to plate up these Krusty Burgers. All right, let's start doing up these Krusty Burgers on what you think is the bottom bun. Place some iceberg lettuce because burgers with iceberg lettuce are great. Plus, I don't like using romaine or any of the flavored lettuce. Then take a patty and place it with some cheese and then add some pickles. Then you want to give it a swirl of ketchup. And then you want to mayo what you think is the top bun. And add a little bit of the Dijon mustard. I like using Dijon for this a um, little more than I like the yellow. Different flavor, breaks it all up. And then put the bun on top and realize you've assembled the whole goddamn thing upside down, but that's okay, screw it, it's a Krusty Burger. So that's Krusty Burgers. You see, you can make them at home. You don't have to go to Florida to have that fucking clown's burgers. Yay! Oh, I don't know what you're saying. It all sounds so crazy to me. I meant exactly that, Krusty. I showed everyone how to make your burgers at home. 